What's going on everybody? So uh, Kim.com released this statement about uh, the Seth Rich situation and the DNC leaks. I'm going to wait a few seconds for everybody to get in and I'll read that. Um, I'll read his statement to you guys and let me know what you think and I'm going to let you know what I think. So I'm going to wait 10 seconds and I'm going to read exactly what happened because Kim.com promised today that he would explain how he knows Seth Rich is the um, the leaker of the DNC leaks and he did exactly that just now. So I'm on his website right now. I'm going to read, read it aloud for you guys. He's got a picture of Seth Rich. It says, Seth Rich was a hero. I know that Seth Rich was involved in the DNC leak. I know this because late in 2014, a person contacted me about helping to start a branch of the internet party in the United States. He called himself Panda. I now know that Panda was Seth Rich. Panda advised me that he was working on voter, uh, voter, voter analytics tools and other technologies that the internet party may find helpful. I communicated with Panda on a number of topics, including corruption, the influence of corporate money and politics. He wanted to change that from the inside. I was referring to what I knew when I did an interview with Bloomberg in New Zealand in May 2015. In that interview, I hinted that Julian Assange and WikiLeaks... Sorry, I got a phone call. Hold on a second. I was referring to what I knew when I did an interview in Bloomberg in New Zealand in May 2015. In that interview, I hinted that Julian Assange and WikiLeaks would release information about Hillary Clinton and the upcoming election. The Rich family has reached out to me to ask that I be sensitive to their loss in my public comments. That request was entirely reasonable. I have consulted with my lawyers. I accept that my full statement should be provided to the authorities and I am prepared to do that so that there can be a full investigation. My lawyers will speak to the authorities. My lawyers will speak with the authorities regarding that proper process. If my evidence is required to be given in the United States, I would be prepared to do so if appropriate arrangements were made. Are made. I would need a guarantee from Special Counselor Mueller on behalf of the United States of a safe passage from New Zealand to the United States and back. In the coming days, we will be communicating with the appropriate authorities to make the necessary arrangements. In the meantime, I'll make no further comment. So this is on Kim.com. He just now released this statement. And this statement has a few things in it. It says, I know that Seth is a leaker. I've been talking to him for years. And I spoke to his family. So this has a lot of major revelations in it. One, that he spoke to him for years. So most likely he has these documents or, you know, conversations with with Seth or Panda. So, I mean, that's one. Two, he spoke to the family. So the family's in contact with him and most likely means that the family knows that he's telling the truth. Um, and this will be very telling. Of course, I, you, we already know the news is going to completely try to shut this down immediately. But in any sort of investigation, what you do is get all the evidence and try to figure out what it is and this investigation is very different from I, it's the opposite i've never seen anything like it where instead of gathering all the information and you know like all the russia stuff they have hundreds of people on tv saying all this russia stuff with no no uh, basis he's saying you know i have i've been talking to him probably has proof of it and it'll be interesting to see how they try to suppress this information and try to push it away from people as quickly as possible because you would think that they would give him a platform and try to uh, speak to him and see what he has to say. Um, so we will see, I will say, um, not overwhelmed by it. I'm not underwhelmed. It's kind of right in the middle. Um, you know, I think he's playing his cards as far as now he's released a statement and he's trying to take the right legal measures and also be respectful to Seth's family because he spoke to them and he doesn't want to be disrespectful in any way. So it'll be interesting to see what happens because if the FBI or whatever intelligence agency is going to do this whole special investigation on Trump and Russia, this is a major, major cornerstone in that investigation because if Seth Rich was the leaker, like all signs are pointing towards, then... 
it would destroy their whole narrative of that Russia hacked the election. And even, I mean, the whole narrative has been fake anyway. I already just did a video about they're saying that Trump uh, released classified information to the Russians about about bombs on an airplane via laptop. And their own news organization did stories on that three months later. So if it's classified information, why are you publicly publishing it to the world? So, I mean, we already know the, the Russia stuff is completely fabricated and it's just been dragged out and uh, abused and lied about. So it'll be interesting to see where this Seth Rich stuff goes with Kim.com. That was the official statement. And we will see if the intelligence communities, the FBI, and people in the United States are willing to talk to set, to, to uh, Kim.com and see what evidence he has or if they're just going to immediately attack him, try to suppress the information, demonize him and continue to demonize Sean Hannity, Newt Gingrich or anybody else that knows the truth of what's really going on. Alright, I'll see you guys.